many of us are in lockdown or have stay-at-home orders, while some of us may be going stir-crazy or are bored out of our skulls, as hams we have a ton of different things we can do at home or in our shacks. Knowledge is power, so they say, so let's power up and learn something new. I'm Julian Frost, N3JF, your ham radio sensei. Onegaishimasu! Alright, where do we get our knowledge from? The internet! Well, yes of course, but also books. Maybe you didn't know, but Ham Radio Outlet has a huge selection of books on the subject of ham radio and electronics. From rules and regulations, license study guides, to antenna building, antenna physics, portable antennas, proper operating techniques, amateur radio astronomy, using scanners, selecting power sources, guides on working DX, RFI eradication, using computers in amateur radio, contesting, emergency power, and even VOIP and high-speed multimedia. Yes, we hams do a lot of different things, and now might be a good time to expand our horizons by learning something new. Come with me as I take a quick, socially distanced trip to Ham Radio Outlet in Anaheim and pick out some books for some good old-fashioned book learning. Okay, finally made it to HRO Anaheim, so let's see what books we have on uh on offers here. Let's see, we'll be good. Okay, uh, this one looks like a good one. Uh, basic radio, understanding key building blocks. Well, that will always come in useful. We got the uh, Worldwide Listening Guide. That's great for SWLers. We have uh, Arduino Projects for Dummies. Well, that has me covered. Okay, basic antennas, pra uh, understanding practical antennas and design from the ARRL, perfect. Uh, oh, also the ARRL Antenna Compendium. Perfect. And for new hams, well, maybe not just new hams, but the uh, ARRL Operating Manual. That's great. And again, uh, if we are thinking about upgrading, if we're maybe just a technician at this point in time, let's upgrade. We've got Gordo's book here. So let's do that. All right, let's take these home and uh, see what we can do. Okay, here we are back at my shack. Time to get the fire burning, wrap up warm, and crack open these books. Maybe you're new to ham radio, or maybe you're looking to upgrade. Or maybe you've been a technician class operator for a while, and this pandemic has finally given you the time you need to study for your next upgrade. Gordon West WB6 NOA literally wrote the book on how to get your ham radio license. Gordon's book and audio CDs can take you from unlicensed to an extra class license in a few easy steps. Each license class manual, and this is the general class manual, contains every single question in the current question pool. Not only that, but it gives you the correct answer and a description of why that answer is the right choice. So if you want to upgrade, think about using Gordo's books. The ARRL operating manual clearly says on the back that it's everything for the active radio operator. This manual, currently in its 12th edition, is a comprehensive guide to operating in the amateur radio service. It talks about ham radio gear, the usual stuff, radios and antennas, but also about the different modes such as CW, single sideband and even FT8, as well as satellite operation, working DX, contesting and so on. While the manual talks about the nuts and bolts of ham radio, it also talks about how to conduct yourself on the radio, from etiquette to making that first contact, and confirming your contacts, public service, and emergency communications. For a good all-round book on ham radio, you can't really beat the ARRL operating manual. Basic antennas and the antenna compendium, both from the ARRL, are excellent sources of antenna knowledge. Basic antennas begins with a simple physics lesson defining what an antenna actually is and how it works. From there it delves into simple dipole antennas, touching on impedance and transmission lines, yagis and loop antennas, and more. If you want to brush up on antenna theory, Basic Antennas is the book for you. If you want to go the next step and build some of the antennas you just learned about, the ARRL Antenna Compendium is a great place to start. 
The book contains 60 articles pulled from the ARRL's monthly magazine, QST. Each article is a practical project which results in tested and proven designs. All antenna builds are clearly described with photographs and diagrams showing the steps from beginning to end. The articles cover everything from HF portable and HF directional antennas through VHF, UHF and stealth antennas for the home. Now that you've upgraded your license, know how to operate all your gear and put up an antenna or several, where do you find all the action on the airwaves? The ARRL band plan is a good place to start of course, but there are a lot of radio signals that aren't part of ham radio, but are still extremely interesting to listen to or decode. The Worldwide Listening Guide is full of useful information, like the fact that the Eiffel Tower in Paris was one of the very first radio towers in the world. Filled with interesting articles and background stories, the Worldwide Listening Guide's meat and potatoes are the frequency lists of hundreds of stations transmitting radio signals from around the world. Listed are the names of the station, its location, and their programming schedule, along of course with the frequency you need to dial in. If building radios is your thing, or you want it to be your thing, but you don't know a capacitor from a cappuccino, then basic radio might be a good place to start. Basic Radio will step you through building a crystal set and answer your questions such as how does a radio wave actually travel, what is a radar gun, and even how does a garage door opener work, hmm. how a garage door opener works. Now that you know what you're doing, why not build an Arduino project? If you don't know what an Arduino is, join the club. Better yet, buy Arduino projects for dummies. The book explains that the Arduino Uno is a general purpose microcontroller programming and prototyping platform that you can easily program to react to things going on in the real world. Glad they explained that. You can connect your Arduino to the internet or your radios or both. The book is filled with projects that are shown with step-by-step -step instructions along with photos to guide you along the way. With an Arduino, you can build a keypad entry system, an RFID reader, a remote control car, an LCD clock, and many, many more projects. The book even teaches you how to use the Integrated Development Environment, or IDE, to program the Arduino so that it does what you actually want it to do. Again, glad they explain it. Obviously, these are just a few of the books available at Ham Radio Outlet. Take a look on the website and use the search feature at the top of the homepage. If you know the name of the book or even just a word in the subject line, the search bar will find it for you. I encourage all of you to never stop learning. Grab a good book, sit by the fire, and learn something new. Please like and subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. For Ham Radio Outlet, I'm Julian Frost, N3JF, your Ham Radio Sensei. Arigato gozaimasu. Now, Snuggy time. Oh yeah, best thing ever invented. The Snuggy. Ah, oh, awesome. Oh, yeah. Arduinos. Hmm. Okay.